here because my girlfriend Sarah has an uncontrollable urge to start a black man. I want to get my boyfriend David and his jealousy under control. One big issue I want to see resolved is her lying. Yes, I have problems with white lies. Sarah, I want you to stop lying and to work problems out with me instead of blowing up. When we were broken up, I had a friends with benefit and he was a black guy and he didn't like that. And because of that, he's jealous of black men. If our issues are unresolved, then we'll go our separate ways. I want the judge to tell David he needs to trust me. Divorce court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with David Mirando and Sarah Norcross. The two of you have been together for five years. You have one child together. And Mr. Mirando, you've had a few children from previous relationships. Yeah. Mr. Mirando, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why you're here today? My girlfriend Sarah has this irresistible urge to stare at black men, and it makes me An angry. An irresistible urge yes. to stare at black yes, men. Yes, she does. For example, there was this time we went to the mall, and I turned to the bathroom, go to the bathroom, and come right. back, and she's glancing at this uh, at this black guy, and uh -huh. she's just staring at him, just not like your normal stare. She was just flirting with eyes, and that kind of bothered me. And I, uh, I confronted her, and she got really, really upset, and we didn't talk for a couple of days. Ms. Norcross, you, you you like black men? I mean, they're attractive. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> Do you stare at them while you're with your man? Yes, I wouldn't does. consider it staring. I mean, if I see their swag or I, I look at them up and down, but he doesn't like that at all. Would you like it if, if, if there were some women, women walking by and he's staring at them and looking them up and down? Would you... Would I that encourage bother you? him. I tell him, I'm like, dang... I encourage him. I tell him, like, dang, babe, look at her butt. It's big. And he's like, yeah, you're right. But, but I don't when I do, do it, it, it's a problem. Does she do that? She does do that, but I feel out of respect from her. I don't do it in front of her. Do your little side glance. I, I do my side glance once in a while. I mean, one man does You understand it. it hurts his feelings, though? I mean, why do it if it bothers him? It's such a small thing to give up. They're everywhere, Your Honor. I mean, <laughs> I, I can't. I can't. But the way I see it, Your Honor, <laughs> if she's looking at those attractive men, I, I, she doesn't look at me like that. Mm -hmm. you know, she doesn't stare me up and down when I dress for her, you know? Sometimes I, I like do. to dress up. I doesn't... tell him, I'm like, oh, you look nice today. Once in a blue moon. Yeah. You know, you can't control what piques your interest, but you can control how you respond to that interest. Do you know what I mean? You know, exactly. you, 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 can, you can decide that you're not going to leer at them in front of your dude. And I do. So we avoid going places like... We don't go to we don't go to the mall anymore because it's that deep. You can't go oh, to the yeah, mall. She's, she's cur jealousy. Yeah. yeah. I get jealous, of course. If she stares at another guy like that. You know, but I'm not man. staring at them because I want to be with them. I'm staring at them because yeah, maybe they are cute, but I'm with him. Uh huh. I'm not with anybody else. Tell me about what happened at the movie theater. Okay. So it was date night for us. We usually try to have date nights. <clears throat> it was her turn to pick a movie. Right. And we went to the movie. She decided to watch Black Panther. And I was, I was fine with it. I was fine with it. And she, ten, like, lost her mind, didn't Yeah, she? yeah. Ten, ten minutes into the movie, she was just yeah, staring yeah, at just, the movie, like, at least like you weren't once. there at all. Yeah. It's a good movie. Oh, yeah. You've seen it, right? Yeah, it's a, okay. it's a good movie. Okay. Okay. So we went to the house, got to the house and just started arguing about it. You know, I didn't what did you say to her? Well, I, I confirmed you her. Because like, you know she's not going off with anybody on the movie screen, it's right? It's a movie. She's girl. not. You know that. <laughs> it's a movie. She's not, but I wish she looked at me the same way she stared at those guys, you know? That's... Did you hear what he just said? Yeah, I heard him. Do you make him feel wanted and desirable? I feel like I do, but... Apparently, we, it doesn't apparently... count what you feel. Apparently... When he has a, a need or a feeling, you got to fulfill that one. Doesn't care how you feel about it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just like, you know, I'm not going to get him a glass of water because I'm not thirsty. Right. If he's thirsty, I got to get him a glass of water. He's right. thirsty. You right. need to give him some water. I'm super thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. He needs to feel like you want him. Yep. Yeah. And I he doesn't. He should. I mean, I don't... Now, you don't say he should. Know that he doesn't and fix that part. Whatever you're doing, it's not working. And you need to do something else. Well, I won't know that unless he tells me. We just told you. Well, now I, I do. told you. He we told you. We to come you. here to figure it out. Yeah, well, now I've told you. Are you going to accept that? <laughs> yes. Embrace it. Okay. Then go home and embrace him. 
Why don't you tell me what you think the major problem is in your relationship? It's definitely jealousy. Is it the I black think, men I, thing, or is it is there something specific? I mean, specific? I can look at a white man, and he's just like, okay, whatever. But you don't look at but white men. But when it comes <laughs> to black people, he's just like, oh, is that what you want? Is that what you're interested in? I'm like, no, I'm obviously with you. I've been with you for five years. Like, we're trying to get married. Can we get this on the road? Right. Get the ring already. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Morando, mm -hmm. do you think that some of, some of that might be cured with a ring? It might, yes, it's a possibility. But are, it's not just slow, jealousy, though. Are you slow with the jewelry? No, I'm slow with the money for the jewelry. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, it doesn't have to be expensive. Oh, Thank yes, you. it does. Thank you. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't it have doesn't. to be quite expensive. No, it, does it has not. to be something nice. It can't just be something I Why? buy at the pawn it shop. It could be something from the pawn shop. Why? Because you love I don't, going I there. I feel like she's a beautiful woman, and I admire her beauty and her loving for me. So but I see, the ring is for good. her. Yes. Of course. And she'd rather have the ring than 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 promises of a better the, ring. The later. last promise ring that I got her, she gave it back to me. Oh. Did you do that? And why did I do that? Because we had a fallout, we broke up, so she gave it back to me. He broke his promise, so why would I wear the ring still? What was his promise? That he will protect me and he'll always be there for me and he'll be the man I always wanted. How did he I break need. that promise? He was still talking to his ex. Were you still hanging out with the ex? We were talking, but she wants me to completely just not text her about the kids or anything else. The text is like, you can text all day. A conversation, get it over with, bam. But so I'm... you're mad about the quantity of texting he does with other women? Well, he doesn't text me like he would text her. Well, you live together, though. Right, but he's always So he can just work. talk to you, because you're right there. And he could just call her and talk to her. Well, I need to talk to you about that a little bit. Because <laughs> uh, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You also have trust issues with her, other I, than just have, the black guy thing. I have, and I want to find out if it, where it comes from. Does it come from something she's done, from her past, or something that she's currently doing? I find a note on the table that says, I'm going to be out for the weekend. I'm going on a spa day by myself. So I did some investigation. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> and I found out she was in Vegas with her best friend. You didn't do no investigation. Somebody Ooh. told you. <laughs>Mr. Mirando is that you believe she's always telling you half truths and mm -hmm. she's not really being honest. Why don't you explain why you feel that way? I feel she she has a lying problem to me. <clears throat> there was this point where it was Easter weekend and <clears throat> I come home from work, I find a note on her on the table, dining table, it says, I'm gonna be out for the weekend, I'm going on a spa date by myself. And that to me got me thinking, I'm like, wait a minute, why would you go by yourself on a spa date? Anyways, I did some investigation. And I found out she was in Vegas with her with her best friend. You didn't do no investigation. Somebody Ooh. told you. Did you go? Did you did you did you tell him you're going on a spa day by yourself? Sure go, did. Go 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 on a girls trip. Mm hmm. I sure did. Why didn't you tell him the truth about what you were doing? Because you can't really talk to him. I mean, he would have been like, "No, you're not going anywhere." He would have took my car keys. He would have took my stuff, and he would be like, "You're not leaving this house." If she told you, you she wanted to go to Vegas with her friends, would you have objected? No. Wanna, I would even get her money to go. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> Has he ever objected to something like that in the past? Tell me a story about how he's behaved when you've told him something you were going to do he didn't like. Like, when I try to go out with my friends for the night, he doesn't let me. Like I said, he'll take my car keys, he'll, and then I'll be like, well, that's fine, because I'm going to get picked up anyways. And then he'll be, like, standing at the door, like, you're not going anywhere. Did you stand in the doorway, take car keys, and block her from the, from leaving? Yeah, I did block her from leaving a couple of times because I wanted to spend time with her. I don't know what yeah, else to do. Yeah, you know that's not the way to go. Uh, yeah, I know. Sure is. That's not the way to go at all. That's, that's, that's the first creep and crawl into a very ugly situation. If they want to go, they're going to go. Yeah. Has she done anything to make you not trust her? Other than, I understand that lie, because she says you won't let her go anywhere. I kind of believe her, because you yeah, cop well, to it. Besides... So, so b besides the lying, is there anything she said or done or her history that makes you not trust her? No, she hasn't done anything like... She hasn't done anything at all? No. I mean, besides her going out every weekend, nothing, nothing else. No. So you don't think she's messing around with any guys no. or anything like that, black, white, or otherwise? <laughs> no. 
she always told me, I'm with you and only you. And I, I, I believe Oh, it. no, he thinks I'm messing around with black guys. Why do you think he thinks you're bl- because messing around with black guys? Because he accuses me of it. What does he say? <laughs> he's like, oh, is that what you want to be with? He's like, or if I go out with my friend, he's like, oh, did any black guys try to hit on you? What about Mexican? What about Asian? You didn't ask me that. What if a white guy tried to hit on me? You didn't care about the white guy. She's dated a black man in her life, and I'm the first actual... First man. non-black guy that she's yes, dated? Yes, Yeah. But, I but mean, you've only dated black guys in the past? It's what I was attracted to and who was attracted to me. Right, right. So then I met him at a party, and he was drunk, but we kind of clicked. <laughs> he was drunk. Yeah, we clicked, and then we started talking more and more. We ended up getting together. We had a son very quickly, and we've been working on it since. Would you still be working on it with him if you had not had that son so quickly? No, probably not. That's very honest. That's very honest. And it's just, um, we've had a lot of problems in the beginning. Um, And so I probably would have just walked away. Walked it away, but now you have reason to try to make it work. Exactly. I mean, granted, I moved to Washington State with him. Right. I left my family, everything Everything. in California, and I went with him to make this work. Okay. I want to talk about break boyfriends and money. We had a break last year, and not even a month later, she was already sleeping with somebody else. It was a black guy. I was sleeping with another guy. He breaks into my house. The guy's there. He's chasing him around the house. He was jealous and upset. He was psychotic. What would you do if your partner had a roaming eye? Tell us what you think at Facebook.com slash Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Mr. Miranda, you say uh, Ms. Norcross is bad with money. Explain that to me. Well, first of all, it's kind of hard to get it to work. Um, (laughs) It's hard to get it to work? (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I'm the breadwinner at the house, and... I pay all the bills, and she still wants to do extra things besides, you know, the bills getting paid. She wants to go out to eat, and I tell her I don't have it, and she gets upset. And I was like, well, you know, if you want to help out, then we should have extra money so we can go out mm-hmm. and have fun. Are you, you know? a little light on the work, work side of things, Ms. Norcross? Well, in November, I, start, I went to school, and right. we talked about it. We agreed. He said he'll take care of bills, he'll do this, he'll do that while I go to school. Uh-huh. Okay, and then after... Did you graduate? Yes. Okay. And I Let's got go my on. license. Yeah. And I'm working on starting my business. Nail license, yes. right? Uh-huh. But, like I said, I went to a new state, so I am working on building a clientele, mm-hmm. but it's kind of slow right now. Right. I can't... Is she, is she got make... a grind on? Is she trying? She may she, not be I, I making like anything. She's, she's fully trying her 100%. Maybe she's giving 40% of it, but not 100%. Um, what do you think she's not doing? She's not doing nails. <laughs> I come, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I come I home and she's somebody to do, to do, do nails, nails on. Do you understand? You got to build I your business. And I offered to help her with flyers and And I gave her my business that's, cards that's, to give out. Still in his car. I just thought like she should try I've, a little harder. I've asked him to advertise on his social media. He doesn't. I send him things like, can you post this? He doesn't. I mean... Well, what it, other than sending him stuff to do, what do you do? Well, I'm doing the same thing. Uh-huh. I'm advertising on on Facebook, on Instagram. Um, I'm trying to run specials. Mm-hmm. I'm trying, like, you know, 50% off. Like, just come on. <laughs> right, right. Do, and, do you see that she's doing all that? I mean, businesses uh, are hard to I start. I they are. They're really hard to start, but... And I, all, all my money sure that I do I get do. is going into the business. The business. Right. right. Like, I have to... I'm booth running. I have to provide my own product. I have to... Everything is right. on me. I told her right, right now right. We, she can work at home because she does have a little shop at home that she can I work still at. need people to come to our house. So I told her <laughs> she can go to farmer's markets, flea markets and stuff, just hand out cards or even... It's not that easy. Block. It's not... You know, it's not that easy. I know it's not, but it's not easy for me to be paying everything else. Right. She's not helping out. It's hard on me. What are we talking about with the break So boyfriend? we had a break last year and... Not even a month later, she was already sleeping with somebody else, and it was a black guy. And I was like, there oh, goes no the proof. No wonder you got issues. <laughs> Did this, that happen? This was just, like, last year. <laughs> <laughs> well, that explains it. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm just saying, like, there was no other reason for him to feel the way he did the previous three and a half, four years. Yes, and I then, understand. I understand what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, and then we did. We broke up. We were broken up for about ten months. 
And so yeah, broken up I, was I was sleeping hours. with another guy. And then he, mind you, I took him off the lease already. I was taking care of the rent. I was taking care of our son. I was doing everything. And he breaks into my house. The guy's there. He's chasing him around the house. It was a hot mess. Can you agree oh, with that? Yes, it, was it, was. it was a hot mess. It was a hot mess. Yes, it was. It was a hot yeah. mess. No. And then he calls his friends over, and then his friend's Friend. like, no, you don't want to go up there. He's up there, blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, why are you even here? What are you even doing here? Honestly, I was there because she was sick that day. You she were again. jealous and upset. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. yes you were yes. jealous and upset. He was psychotic is what he was. I was upset. Yeah. Je jealous. Yeah. Okay. He I think I see what front. we have here. <laughs> with your partner just for the sake of the child. Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Do you really want to get married? Yes, I do. I feel like I gave her my everything. Do you really, do you really want to get married? I do. You know, that nonsense about I want to get her a nice enough ring is just that, nonsense. She'd take a cigar band if you gave it to her. She would take no ring and go to the, go to the uh, courthouse and get married. That's what I did. That's a stall tactic on your part, and you have to see it as a stall tactic. And then you have to wonder why, I, why you're stalling. Are you insecure? Do you not trust her? Are you not ready to get married? You're not ready to co get committed? You got to figure out which one of those things it is and let her know, and then figure out whichever one it is, if it's always going to be that way. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because that's, that's just a stall tactic. You know, you don't really care about that. You just don't want to do it. I do. No, no, <laughs> you don't. Don't believe the lies you tell other people. You can tell me and her that all you want to, but don't tell it to yourself. If you wanted to marry her you'd, and she was willing to go down to the courthouse without a nice enough ring, you'd marry her, but you don't want to. And you need to figure out why. Do you hear what I'm saying? I hear you. You're going to fool around and lose her, and I think you love her. I do love her. Lock it down. Lock it down. Now, listen. You can't help what you're attracted to, but you can help what you do in response to it. You don't have to stare, leer, look, or otherwise give black men a second, a second glance. Don't do it. That's where he's weak. That's where he's insecure. You wouldn't want a certain type of woman that was very unlike you to be the kind of woman that jerks his head around all the time and be in the process of seeing what he desires and that desire is not you all day long. Maybe that's part of the reason why he can't give you, he can't give you that last step. You have to see what you're doing that might be inviting the, or, or precluding him from doing that one thing that you want, which is to get that ring. You've got to see what you're doing. You understand what I'm saying? I told him what he needs to know, mm -hmm. told you what you need to know. I think you both need to get it together and go on and get married. Nobody going nowhere. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Keep your eyes where they're supposed to be. <laughs> Keep your eyes on the prize, not, not on the brothers. <laughs> This matter is adjourned. Are you ready to keep your eyes where they belong? Yes, I am. When are we going to take a walk down to the courthouse? Well, we'll go next week. So Judge Lynn follows up with you guys in a week or two. We're going to...